Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honey Bee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. Watch the stinger, sweetie! <laughs> what shape am I making? Mm. <gasps> this circle? <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! And here's the man of the hour! Chosen by Andrea himself! Our honored guest! This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! <laughs> Take it away, honey! <laughs> <laughs> Real rhythm, mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Hmm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you? Well, you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Aw, he's flushing. Life can be hard, it can be bitter, but we can make it all so sweet. Here at the Honey Bee in every moment is a tree. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? Oh, I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move.
Think you can follow my lead? Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid. Tom, oh, Cloud. Was it now that from was the a show? Probably not. Did you see their look of surprise? Cloud. Yoo-hoo, Cloud. Hello. Eric to Cloud, come in! 
Aerith to Cloud, come in! Please don't. Not a word. Such beauty. Not even the one? No! Wouldn't you agree? But you're so pretty! Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madame M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. Gas. Come on. Damn it. Cloud. Hey, pretty lady, Jr. Feeling a little light-headed? Got a can of that. Let's say we escort you to the parlor, so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now, I'm up to Daisy. Hey, you had to repent, asshole. Then how? You want to throw down the Corneo girl? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a horn. I know. Man, it's going to get some real lookers this time, though. Oh, <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I've got what I came for. What? So... After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time. But then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <laughs>